It will benefit our community at every level. The senior director of business attraction at the Greater San Marcos Partnership walked me through plans for what is expected to be the largest film production studio in the country, located in the hearts of a small college Texas town just outside of Austin. Beyond just the property taxes, of course, that come with any new economic development and any new capital investment project. There is also a lot of opportunity for collaboration with all of our academic institutions. 800,000 plus square feet, 75 acres, and more than a thousand jobs. They're really committed to working with small businesses. They're going to be more feet on the street, walking, shopping in the boutiques, eating at our restaurants. Um, they'll be contracting out with restaurants. But that is part of what concerns some local residents who love San Marcos for its small town vibe. Those kinds of things are going to be changed if we bring in this like massive studio because people are going to be moving in. Housing prices are going to go up as, a, if, like, as if they aren't already going up. Alexandria Kichocho is an organizer of Protect the River, an activist group that formed quickly once news of the project started to spread. Another major concern for them, the potential impact on the environment. The film studio site is located at the La Cima development, which sits on the Edwards Aquifer Recharge Zone. The aquifer feeds into the San Marcos River. Jessica Inacio noted this recharge zone was always zoned for commercial development. And in a statement provided to Fox 7, the San Marcos city manager said in part, the film studio represents a better option for protecting the Edwards aquifer. It will have less development and better runoff controls than what was already approved for this site. But Kichocho is concerned about not only the potential direct impact to the environment, but the precedent it sets. And if we don't do anything about it now, it's just like we're just going to continue to develop and continue to develop and like continue to like tear away from this part of nature. Community activist Lisa Marie Capoletta showed up to Tuesday's rally with a different perspective. You know, as someone who's battled these developers for three decades of my life. But this time around, she thinks this is a good move for the city and they've gone about it the right way. I would just suggest to these activists, if you don't like the rules, when there's a developer following the rules and going above and beyond the rules, work to change the rules.